Hey, it's 8 p.m. in the UK, 3 p.m. on the east coast of the US, and 12 midday on the Pacific coast of the USA. Wherever you are watching this right now, welcome along to my first ever audio production workshop from Audio Production Masters. It's great to have you watching. I'll tell you a little bit about what we've got coming up in this very tight half hour long webinar. That's all we've got. So we're going to pack in loads of interesting content and also we'll have a giveaway at the end of this webinar. So make sure you're watching until the end. So coming up, we've got an example of audio production in Adobe Audition. Personally, my favorite bit of audio editing software. So we'll have a look at how to create an audio promo for, say, perhaps a product that you're marketing or something you want to talk about, maybe even your own services. Maybe you're a voice artist or a podcaster with something to promote. We will have a look at how to very quickly and easily use some audio production techniques to make that promo. I'll show you how to mix with effects in the multi-track, how to mix down, how to master, and we'll go over a few time-saving hacks as well because it's always good to save time when you're editing audio. Um, coming up at quarter past, so after I've done the demonstration in Adobe Audition, we'll have a sneak peek at the brand new Audio Production Masters, which is a brand new community for audio producers worldwide. So you'll have a look behind the scenes at exactly what is inside that community. Then at 20 past, after we've had a quick look, we will do a question and answer section. So if you have a burning audio production question right now. It could be related to anything. It could be something inside Adobe Audition. It could be, how do you do this? What's the best equipment? Uh, what would I recommend for marketing your services online? Anything that is on your mind, you can ask it in 20 minutes from now at 20 past the hour. And there are a couple of ways that you can get in touch. You can either type into the live chat box if you're watching at audioproductionmasters.com slash live. There's a chat box just below this video. Or, of course, if you're in Google Hangouts right now on Google+, Plus, uh, there is a Q&A app, so feel free to take advantage of that and ask me a question which I can nicely put up on the screen and answer for you between 20 past and half past. And then at half past, we are going to have the winners to the Audio Production Masters first audio production workshop prize giveaway. And I wanted to start off, as we mean to go on, by giving away some pretty hot prizes. So are you ready for these? Okay, at the end of the webinar, it's only for live viewers, so only for people who are watching this live on Monday, the 29th of September from 8 p.m. UK time. Only for you guys right now watching live, you could win one of these three prizes. The bronze prize is my Kindle book, A to Z of podcast audio production in Adobe Audition. That's worth $10 if you buy it on Amazon.com or around six quid if you get it from Amazon.co.uk. Silver Prize is, and this is awesome, one of my favorite audio interfaces. And basically, if you're an audio producer of any caliber, don't use your internal sound card. Use an audio interface. It is from Focusrite, and it is the audio interface that I'll be using to make this audio promo in just a moment. The price value on Amazon.com is currently around $149. So that is the silver prize up for grabs. And finally, a quick look at the gold prize, which will be an honorary membership, meaning you never have to pay, to Audio Production Masters on the master plan. So I'm really excited to give that away. It's a $20 a month value prize. And uh, of course, the price will go up after tomorrow. So if you want to get in on that price today, you're very welcome to do that. But to give you an example of that, $20 a month, that's $240 per year that you'll be saving if you win the gold prize tonight or this afternoon, or the early hours of the morning, perhaps, if you're watching Down Under. And by the way, if you are watching in a time zone right now where it's very early in the morning, I really appreciate you, and please do leave a comment wherever you're watching so I can give you a shout-out at the end of the webinar. So how do you win these prizes? It's important that you know this before I get into my audio production workshop. You can tweet to be in right now now. And the way to tweet is to go to this URL, very simple, mrc.fm. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen, mrc.fm slash APM live. Okay. That's the URL, mrc.fm slash APM live. It has the correct Twitter handle and hashtag in there so that we can see your tweet so that you can be in the draw. So go there right now 
and tweet if you're watching live for a chance to win bronze, silver, or gold. APM Live is the URL. Uh, I'll give you it in full, actually. <laughs> it would help. MRC.FM slash APM Live. And we'll try and post it in the comments a few times as well so you can click it and tweet out. And uh, really appreciate that. And, of course, there is a prize in it at the end. Right, let's head over to Adobe Audition and get into the meat of this fantastic audio production workshop. On my screen right now, I'm using Adobe Audition CC 2014. I'm going to stick on my headphones, and I am going to start creating this audio promo. It's going to be a very short promo. It's going to be a promo for Audio Production Masters, and I'll show you exactly how you could do something like this yourself if you wanted to in Adobe Audition. So let's get started. And the very first thing I'll do is start a new audio file. So there we go. And it gives me the chance to name it. So I'll call it just APM Live, like so. OK. Uh, sample rate is fine for me. 44 100 hertz is standard for audio work. And channels you want to always be stereo. I go for 16 bit depth. You can go a little bit higher, 24 or 32 float even in Adobe Audition. Very simple. You've got this box here. You may already be familiar with Adobe Audition, so I might be teaching you to suck eggs, or this might be brand new to you. Once you've got this screen up, I can start recording here, and I'm going to record in my little promo right now. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. And as you can see, this is a live webinar, and I haven't set up my audio interface. <laughs> Isn't that great? Well, that's the first problem you might come across if you're producing yourself. At the moment, clearly something else is selected. So how do I change that? Well, I go into Audition, and then Preferences. You'll see there's General here, which I can choose, or I can drill down, and I can choose Audio Channel Mapping, also Audio Hardware, to find out if I'm using my audio interface or not. So audio channel mapping will bring up on the screen right now the device channels I'm using, and I want to go not Sapphire Input 1 and 2, but I'm actually using Sapphire Input 3 for my condenser microphone. Click OK for the channels there for the stereo input. And of course, I'm using the same channel because it's a mic, so it's mono anyway. So I don't need to record stereo. Here we go. Let's record again. Hello. Yes, it's working. OK. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Learn how to produce audio like a pro or improve the knowledge you already have and become an audio master. Now is the time to join Audio Production Masters. Head to audioproductionmasters.com slash join and join the community today. Today. And it will become apparent why I did the extra today at the end. Let's just end that now. Okay, that stops. And, of course, I've got the uh, bouncing beach ball, which is uh, a friendly thing to have during a live webinar when you're working on a Mac, isn't it? So once my Adobe Audition has stopped thinking about that now, I've got the audio there. So I'm going to show you how to do a few bits with that, like, for instance, trimming it up. Very easy to do so. What I could actually do is I could select the whole portion I want to keep, go into the edit menu if I wish and then there are various different options here as you can see uh, you've got tools time selection uh, paste copy I can copy it to a new file if I want but I'm going to use the crop feature or command T control T on a PC and it will crop just like that so I lose all the audio around there now I'm gonna play a little bit back the ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Okay, sounding good to me. So now I'm going to add a few effects. And first of all, I think I will go to filter and EQ, and I will go to the EQ. I like the 20 band graphic equalizer. So let's do that. Uh, usually you can select from a preset and start playing with it. But do you know what? I'm just going to go and play this and add on some treble to brighten it up. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Learn how to produce audio like a pro or improve the knowledge you already have and become an audio master. Now, okay, that's fantastic. So I've just got that preset there. So again, EQ, graphic equalizer to brighten up your voice and the settings are there. In fact, I've just lost them. So let's bring them back in. Here we go and play. Now is the time to join Audio Production Masters. And I like to bring up the high range, high frequency around 11.3k. So that'll be fine. Let's just make sure that's all selected. Apply it. 
brightens it up a little bit and then I'm going to add on a little bit of compression as well I like dynamics processing again you've got various different presets I like to start from a boomy kick and see how that will look in Adobe Audition CC you can actually click this button in the top right preview editor and you can look at how your audio is going to look like after it's been compressed so if I bring that up a bit you'll notice it updates in real time a bit loud that so let's move that up and that down and you can see it's very compressed now I'm just going to move this down a bit more and you'll see nice bit of compression there. What I might want to do, as I can see that that's starting to clip in the preview, is go to settings and I'm going to take the uh, output gain down a little bit, okay? So I'll show you that now, just so I'm not clipping. And I think I could get away with taking that down a tiny bit more and even maybe a little bit more, just to be on the safe side. So you can see uh, what compression is doing is it's essentially leveling out the audio so it's a little flatter uh, and there's less dynamic range. So when you're producing a promo, a bit of radio imaging, perfect for that. Just applied it, so that is now done. And I can head into the multi-track, create a new multi-track session, click OK to that and drag in my APM Live. And what I love about the 2014 version of Adobe Audition is you've got rainbow colors in the multi-track. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, so drop that in, the ultimate community. And this is where it's going to start getting fun because I'm going to use some of the sound effects I've got here. Now, all of these sound effects that I will be using are included in your master plan in Audio Production Masters. So if you join up on the master plan at $20 a month, that is, until the end of tomorrow, you will get royalty-free music elements and sound effects just like the ones I'm using in your subscription. And we're very grateful to Big Fish for producing those awesome sound effects and music beds. Let's find out what Wiggle Warm sounds like. Here we go. Have a little listen to this. Let's play it back now. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Okay, you can hear something starting to form there. What I like to do is get the feel of a music bed and think, yeah, that sounds right for what I'm going for. The only problem I have now is the music bed's a little bit too loud, so I'm going to zoom right in. I'm actually using my magic mouse on the Mac, and I'm just flicking up and down to do that. It's so easy to zoom in and out in Adobe Audition like so. So what I'll do is I'll put in what's known as an envelope point on the yellow volume bar and just drag this audio down. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Okay, it's sounding better. I think I still need to put some effects on the voice, so I'll go to the effects rack and I will go and I think I'm going to put on a little bit of... Hmm, let's go for a little bit more EQ just so it cuts across. I might want to actually... Do you know what? In fact, I've changed my mind. I'll go for EQ, but I will go for the scientific filter, and I might knock off below 250 hertz. might be a bit too much doing that, but it's a great feature for radio imaging, and if you want to cut a voice across a bed. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Now, you can hear the difference between that and when I take it off. The ultimate community, a lot more bass, a lot more presence. In radio imaging, they tend to do that a lot because it just sounds clear, and you think, oh, how do they make a voice sound like like that but well that's exactly how drop off below 250 hertz in the scientific filter the ultimate community for audio producers and what I might do is I might change this to 100 hertz so there's a bit more presence to my voice and I'm, I'm not so crisp the ultimate community for audio producers and you can mess about to get it to where you want 132 the ultimate community for audio and maybe a little bit more because it's not quite sounding right to my ear. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Okay, we're going to go with that. So let's lock that in now. And I'm just going to place the voice so that it's on the beats of the track. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is... Okay, that sounds good. Um, I just want to get the is here on beat there. So you see the beats there? Actually, they're not very clear when the track is purple, is it? Let's make it a uh, lovely pinky red. Okay, so there's the beat of the first track. Is, 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 is. You can hear that, can't you? So you can actually, you can actually count. The one, ultimate two, community three, four, for audio one, producers two, worldwide three, is here. There we go. And we'll pop that here in as well on the beat so it sounds good. Is here. In fact, that's probably a little bit too close. And this is the thing, there's no right or wrong with audio production. It's just a case of experimenting and getting things to sound right. Is here. Okay. Is here. Sounds good to me. I'm going to take that is here. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to isolate those two bits. I'm going to go to the multi-track track, and I'm going to essentially just mix down the selected clips and mess about with them. For some reason, it's, it's mixed down more 
because I selected that as well. Let's try that. Multi-track, mix down, selected clips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this. I'm then going to add some silence onto the end. So let's do that. Edit, insert, and we'll do, say, five seconds of silence. And we're going to effects. We'll do reverb, studio reverb. I see. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Vocal reverb, let's go for large. I see. Yeah, it sounds completely crazy when it's reversed. Then I'm going to just normalize it up to minus 0.1 dB, so it's uh, back up to peak amplitude, and reverse it again. My reverse reverb is here. Okay, and then we'll chuck that in the multi-track and try and get that connected. Let's just fade that in using this fade-in bit here is here. You can hear I haven't quite synced it up, so there's an echo there. Is here. Is here. Now I can use the blue lines to pan left and pan right. Is here. Sounds pretty cool. Learn how... Notice I've got a breath there. You can get rid of that by trimming in. Learn how... See, we don't want the breath, essentially, when you're producing an audio promo. Learn how to produce audio like a pro, or improve the knowledge you already have. Okay. Learn how... Put it there. Learn how to produce audio like a pro. Audio like a pro. Okay, and I'm going to do something fun. Pro. Here. And really, audio production is all about experimenting. Some things will work, some things won't work, but essentially I'm going to copy that by selecting it, Command C, and then Command V. But it's all about experimentation and finding what works. Like a pro, 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 pro. Okay, that sounds awful, right? So I'm going to get rid of that. But it was worth trying. Like a pro, pro, like a pro, like a pro. Like a pro. Probe, 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 probe. Okay, so I might do something different. So what about doing this, putting this probe? Let's do some looping there in a crazy way. Like a probe, 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 like a probe. Okay, and you can see at the moment it's not sounding good, but like a probe, 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 like a probe. Okay, maybe we like a probe. Like a probe, and then I'm going to just move these over left and right and pan them. Here we go. Probe, like a probe, like like a probe. And I might actually throw in a, a sound effect as well, just to make that extra cool. Let's find one that looks good. And you get used when to your when you're actually doing audio production for a while, you get used to uh, finding out what looks like it will work just by looking at the sound effect, which is cool. Like a probe, like a probe. It's audio like a probe. It's audio like a probe. It's audio like a probe. Or improve the knowledge you already have. Probe. Probe. And we can maybe echo that left and right on the way out. Let's try that. Probe. 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 There we go. And bring that down even further. Probe. Or improve. Probe. 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 And then I'm going to take in another sound effect here, and just that's going to be a little beep. I can see that from the sound. Already, or improve the knowledge you already have, and all right, cut out the breath there. Have and become, have and become an. That's a lovely punctuator there. Can you hear that? We have and become an audio master. We have the the. And actually, the uh, the music bed is doing the work and working with me on this, which is good. It's nice when it works like that. Now. Okay. Come an audio master. And then I think I'll take that. I'll do something rather special with that. So let's copy and paste. Audio, audio master. master. Audio master. And then I'm going to go to effects rack and I'm going to add some nice echo. Find out what works there. Have and become an audio master. Now is the time. Very cool. Let's put that now on beat. Now is the time to join audio. Okay, and try and get the sounding on beat. Again, it's a case of just cutting. Now is the time to join audio. Now is the time to join audio production masters. Head to audio production. Okay, and cut that up. Head to. We need another sound effect, I feel, to punctuate that. Let's go into the other directory here and grab this. Masters. Masters. That's a bit too loud, as you can hear, coming in, so I'm going to reduce Masters. that. Masters. Masters. Head to. Okay, that's all I need there of that effect. Head to. Audio production. Head to. 
let's take that and pop that there. Head to audio. Maybe put that. Head to audio production masters. Move that out a bit. Head to audio production masters dot com slash join and we'll cut that out. Now. Slash join. Join and join the community today. And this bed is going to end nicely at the end of that just under 30 second promo. Unity today. Join. And join the community today. Let's join. And join the community today. Best thing about Adobe Audition CC is you can actually time stretch stuff. So if it overlaps too much, I can just do that. Look. Com slash join and join the community today. And then I'm going to take my whisper and make use of that. Here we go. Tea today. Tea today. And you hear the whisper, and there it ends. So that's pretty much it. You can scrub back, and I'll play you the full promo in just a moment. Um, but first of all, as promised, I'm going to show you a quick sneak peek behind the scenes at Audio Production Masters. Now, this is an account that I've got for myself. You're logged in here, but you can actually take a look at the pricing plans here. And by the way, they should appear in your own local currency. So it gives you some detail of what you'll get. So this is in my local currency in the British pound. But you'll see in the US, this is $5 for the pro plan over here and $20 for the master plan. There is also a free plan. And we're offering, until the end of tomorrow, a free seven-day trial on the Pro Plan. So definitely worth signing up for and uh, finding out what it's all about. Why? Well, because when you go into your account that you've newly created in the Pro Plan, you will get access to a Facebook group. Let me show you that now. Audio Production Masters that you can join in with. And uh, it's just getting going. So if you join up right now, you'll be able to get into that group too and find some very high quality people in there to talk about audio production with. There's an audio production workshop that will be happening every single month. In fact, you're watching the first one now. There'll be future workshops open only to pro members and above. And if you click that, it'll take you to the place that you're watching this live webinar. And then for master members, this really cool feature we've got with uh, Big Fish is the fact that you can download royalty-free audio on a weekly basis. All the uh, updates, the free music and sound effects will appear here in the right-hand bar, and you can just go into any one, or you can get the latest one by clicking Download Now, and that will go into the page with the royalty-free audio. Click there to download the latest royalty-free audio, and it will go straight down as a zip file, which you can unzip. And there's also a cool uh, Refer a Member feature here where you can go in and you can actually share an affiliate link. Uh, now for me it's not logged in but usually for you uh, when you create a new account it will log you straight into that and you'll get an affiliate link. You can just share it on Twitter or Facebook and you'll get 25% recurring commission for every member you sign up to Audio Production Masters. So really a very good deal. And the other thing to mention is that you can have a fantastic uh, search facility here of all the YouTube tutorials I've ever created. So DJ Drop, type search in there, and you can't do this very easily on YouTube, so that's why I've made it super easy to find all the old videos I've made on any topic. Just type in something you'd like to find out more about, and you'll find a lovely archive of everything that I've ever made related to your search term in Audio Production Masters with a video there ready for you to watch inside your user account. How cool is that? Right, before we get into the q and I'm just going to play that promo for you and then I will come back and I will answer your questions. The ultimate community for audio producers worldwide is here. Learn how to produce audio like a pro or improve the knowledge you already have and become an audio master. Now is the time to join Audio Production Masters. Head to audioproductionmasters.com slash join and join the community today. My goodness me, that was amazing. Well, during that webinar and workshop, we have learned quite a bit, and Isabella has been monitoring the chat room like a hawk. So thank you very much, Isabella, uh, for looking at all your comments and responding and helping you along in there. First of all, we've learned that we need a new server <laughs> because audioproductionmasters.com is currently down. But thankfully, many of you have managed to find the workshop on Google+, which is fantastic. And that's something we've learned for next time. Uh, also, we've learned that you like prizes. <laughs> so there'll be more prizes coming up in the future as well. Um, I'm going to get into a couple of questions. I'm also going to do the prize draw as 
well. So let's get into a couple of questions, and you can just have a final chance to tweet if you'd like to win my Kindle book, membership to Audio Production Masters, or indeed, of course, that wonderful right scarlet 2i2 uh, fantastic little bit of audio interface so that's coming up in a moment first of all uh, Stephanie Buttonhoff from audio production masters the Facebook group has asked the difference between normalization versus hard limiting so I'll give you a brief overview and a brief look into that very very quickly because I'm respectful of your time I can see that it's coming up on uh, uh, well five minutes to go and I want to make sure we're, we're bang on half an hour um, so the difference Stephanie between normalization and hard limiting is that normalization will not affect your audio and hard limiting will so if you normalize something up it will look at the highest peak in your audio the whole of your audio and normalize by that amount up to the top if you hard limit you're essentially saying look for anything in my audio that goes over a certain level and then cut it off but make it sound good when you cut it off if you know what I mean I'm trying to explain in layman's terms a little bit so essentially it makes the audio sound good it crunches it down it's a little bit harder than compression so I hope that helps for you Stephanie uh, one for Matthew uh, McLean as well who's also in audio production masters uh, he's currently working on a digital product all about uh, equipment that audio producers can use and uh, he's looking for equipment suggestions particularly budget microphones so very quickly I thought I'd mention a few uh, one of the podcasting favorites from the United States is the ATR 2100 which you can look up and there's also the Samsung uh, Q2U which you can access over here in the UK and Europe I say over here but I know you're watching uh, worldwide so thank you very much for watching worldwide now I'm going to see whether I can give you a little screenshot of my screen here uh, let's go and have a look and see if we can get into that um, and I'm not sure actually if my my camera is working anymore it seems <laughs> it seems that it's actually paused on a picture of me talking into the microphones <laughs> I do apologize for that, but I understand from what Isabella is indicating to me, you can still hear me, which is great. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit different here. And thank you, by the way, uh, for sticking with me through the whole of the webinar. Isabella's just uh, flashing some figures up uh, in front of my face right now. And I can see that you've pretty much uh, stayed here from start to finish. Anyone who's tuned into this has stayed here from start to finish. Right, you should be able to see now uh, the Twitter stream on the screen. Uh, so we're out of here in about um, two minutes, but I wanted to do this prize draw. And as you can see right now, uh, there's still tweets coming coming in so thank you very much indeed for tweeting you can see all of these wonderful tweets and let's see if I can switch back now to my um, webcam and see whether it will let you see me I don't think so I think now we're just stuck with uh, audio it seems anyway we'll continue so um, we've got some people picked at random here Isabella has done the grand prize draw so let's uh, announce those winners now. First of all, the winner of the Kindle book is a Grant Garrison who is at OM Grant. So thank you, Grant, for tweeting uh, during the workshop. You have won my Kindle book, the A to Z of audio production in Adobe Audition for podcasters. Thank you very much, Grant. Uh, now we'll look at the audio interface prize, and uh, that is for a Scarlet 2i2. It's a fantastic bit of kit, $149, around 119 British pounds. And that goes to Carol Richards at Carol Richards. Thank you very much for tweeting, Carol. And uh, finally, this is the one. This is a $20 a month membership at present on the Master Plan to Audio Production Masters. And that goes to Tony Sabal. I hope I've said your name correctly, at Tony Sabal on Twitter. Thank you very much for tweeting. And thank you very much to everyone who tweeted on this live webinar. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about Audio Production Masters, you can go to audioproductionmasters.com. Thanks for sticking with me, and please spread the word. Tweet at us. Tweet at Audio Pro Masters, and let me know and let Isabella know what you thought of the webinar, what we could improve. Uh, web hosting is certainly something we'll look into for next time. We'll also have more prizes and special guests coming up in future webinars. So, again, thank you very much for joining in. Thank you to Isabella for helping behind the scenes, and thank you to everyone who tweeted and had a chat. There will be a live recording as well or, well, a recorded recording of this webinar for you to watch later on 
on my YouTube channel and future webinars will be for members only. So thank you very much for joining in and I'll speak to you next time.